What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought it would be fun to just do a little casual filming of behind the scenes. You can see my industrial machine which I have used in a couple of videos. So today I want to switch out my clutch motor under there. Those are my oil rags because it's dripping a little. And something just came in the post today, yes. That's a servo motor it just came this evening and I'm so excited to fix it in. Now, of course the motor itself is very heavy, it's under the table, but the first thing I'm going to do is, I have this little jar here, I'm going to drain out the oil and flip the whole table over. I know you can do this without doing that, but for safety, you know, the clutch motor is really heavy, I think it would be better if I do that and I'm doing this by myself. So that's going to be the first thing. I'm just going to get started and drain the oil. Let's see how that goes. Right, so I have my oil drained out. This is what it's looking like in here. I've cleaned it out with a dust rag. Basically, I removed the screw from that stopper there. So that's how I drain the oil. And it's looking pretty clean in here. So I think it's time to just take the head of the machine off. First, I will remove the belt. Then underneath the table here, I'll remove the pitman rod. You can see the jar of oil and that's going to be the next step. Okay, I have the table flipped over. First, I'm going to tackle the power switch there. Then I'll try and remove the motor and that should be easy. Let's see how that goes. I think the power switch was nailed to the table.
all done. It weighs a ton. So I'm going to get this out of the way. Oh my god. Okay. I think it's time we unpack. Manual. Get manual. Screws. Power cord. Sorry, my fan is on. It is like 35 degrees here. It is that hot. Okay, that is the power box. Styrofoam. And the moto. It's a bit heavy, but not quite as heavy as the clutch, obviously. Okay, I have already looked at the manual. It only tells you how to operate this, but it doesn't tell you how to assemble it. But luckily it's in English here and it's in Mandarin Chinese on this side. So that's okay. And the good thing about this setup, I can actually put a needle, up and down needle controller later in the future if I feel like it. And also an LED lamp. So. This is the motor, much smaller, that's the motor, that's where my foot pedal will be connected to, and then we have the power box, has a few options, it's going to be like this under the table, so I have the main power, we have the mains for the motor, we have the needle button, the needle socket here, um, thing foot pedal, lead light, and that is for the foot pedal. No? Not foot pedal, the other part. <laughs> I'll check what it is, but there's something else. It still goes to the motor though. So the motor has two wires. One is kind of like the mains and the other is something else, but I don't know what that is. Uh, this is 220 volts and 550 watts. It can do a maximum of 500 RPM. Awesome. And this the whole setup here. It looks really nice. Okay. So this obviously goes back the same way like the clutch motor. It's going to be in this direction. Like that. And my belt will go here. I hope my belt is the same size. I don't know yet. So let's attach this to the table. I think we'll just use the same principle as the clutch motor. And here are all the screws. Okay, before I actually screw this to my table, I thought it would be a nice idea just to plug it in and see if it comes on. So, I've actually put all the wires on the back at the mains and I hope this doesn't shock me <laughs> we're just gonna put it on wait wait safety first rubber shoes okay I have footwear on <laughs> so silly and now I'm just going to that the casing is going to shock me actually. I don't know why. But um let's see here. Just going to cushion my hand and guess on. Oops, nothing. Hmm. Okay. Take two. It's so nerve-wracking. Um. <gasps> and we have power. It's on. So we have power. I think, I don't know, I don't want to touch anything else. I just want to be sure that it will come on. And now I'm just going to turn it off and assemble it to the table. Then we'll come back and test it again.
I finally had the control box screwed in. Now, I think that's going to take the longest part, so that's over. I already have holes for the main motor, so I'm just going to attach it. I have the motor here, I have my tools. Um, since I have the table already flipped over, I'm just going to work from that angle for better visibility, and I should be done in no time, so let's get this started. Uh, what we're working with is the main screw, the washer, another rubber washer, and a nut. That, I believe, is the combination. So, I take all this out. I know this has to be flush. And a cushion. No, no, sorry. Now I did it wrong. It should be a cushion, the motor, then the washer hand nut. That is the combination, so I'm going to do all of them like that.
I'm done, I'm going to flip the table over and attach the Pitman rod. All right, now I just have to attach the, I think this is called the Pitman rod, from here down to the pedal. Hmm. They're identical, so I don't think it matters which way is up. I already have a nut and a spring washer attached here. So I'm supposed to do that. Now one final bit of tune-up before I'm done. My belt is too short at the moment so I'm going to have to loosen that nut and I think that will pivot the motor and I'll be able to put my belt. This is a 38. I have a 36 which is what I was using before but I'm going to try this out and let's see how that works. Okay, quick one before my battery dies. You can see this nut is right at the end. My belt is really short. So this belt's a 38. I'll try and get maybe a 42 or a 44 so that this will have it to release. But right now it's right at the end. I'm just going to leave it there so I can get another V belt. Right, it's been a few days, about three days since I completed this. So I was able to get a longer belt. This is a size 40 and the screw I was talking about here I was able to go up a bit so I feel the motor is more secure. So let's try the engine, see how it works. Now it's on, it doesn't make any sound. I have it set to 3000 RPM. Okay. Turn the speed down so I can slow really slowly. Right, so the project is a success. I now have a really quiet engine I can use at home doesn't make too much noise, easy to operate, and most importantly, has variable speed, which is one of the reasons I changed my clutch engine. And of course, it's supposed to conserve power, which will go easy on my electrical bill. Right, thank you for watching. That's the end of the video, and we'll get back to our normal scheduled program very soon. Bye.